Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video is episode 11 of the Minecraft Underground Survival Series. I hope you guys did enjoy the download. I left you with a little bit of a surprise. For the people who don't follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Echo Exorgia, we rebuilt the whole entire room. Now it took two, three hours to get this complete. Um, there's still a little bit more work that needs to be done. We've also adopted another llama, which I'm calling Doris. I don't know why these things keep popping up. Basically, the traders keep leaving them. So this is going to be our enchantment system right here. And I know we've got some noisy neighbors at this moment. Um, this is a fully working zombie slash drown farm. Now, they're all zombies at this point, which will turn them into a one hit. Flick this, which is linked to a dispenser. The water pours out and they're going to turn into drowned. Drowns are a lot more efficient and the reason why is because drowns pop off full armor that's not damaged. These have all been popped off by those things, um, which is great. These ones obviously coming from zombies. So I've been quite productive. Um, we're going to have tools and weapons inside of there. We've already got a bunch of tridents as well. Uh, nothing inside of there. Not oh, Nautilus shells. We've got them as well. And then what's up here? Nothing, 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 and nothing at this moment, and nothing inside of there. Uh, we have a villager. This is a different villager. The other villager died. I killed him by mistake. Uh, he's trying to lock onto the grindstone, so you probably see like this area flashing a little bit. Uh, there you go. Look, look how much loot we just got. Man, I tell you what. Drown farms are very, very efficient. They make life so much easier for you. Um, so we're going to kill all of these. Not that I need the XP levels. Today's objective is to work on my chickens and hopefully make an automatic sugarcane farm. Um, so we need to make sure we get rid of these. I, I actually don't know what I'm going to do with all of this. Look at that. Like, fire protection, thorns are breaking. I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty good to have. And the reason why I'm keeping all of this is because in the next update... These things become, uh, gold becomes a little bit more useful because gold is going to be linked to the piglings, which is going to be the 1.15 uh, update on bedrock, I think it is. Uh, but let's go over here as well. And we got ourselves some enchanted booties as well. And we've also got this. Eventually, I'll disenchant them, but with me not having a good XP system right now, as in, like, I can't really enchant things at this moment, uh, I'm just stacking up levels. Right, let's let's kill all of these and see what we end up with. Okay, so <laughs> we use basically my iron. Uh, it's just an on, -off, on and off switch. I, I do need to work on this a little bit more, but that just gets rid of the water in case I want to change it between uh, drowns or if I want to change them between zombies. I mean, I think drowns basically give you everything a zombie can give, but a lot more. The armor thing is so much better, so they go inside of there. So the rotten flesh eventually will be sold. Uh, we've got a clerkity clerk. This guy needs a bed, so we're gonna have to get him a bed. I need to get him a workstation. Now we're gonna go and do that now, I think. Um, but I also like we need to make an on and off switch over here. At the moment, I'm just using torches. Um, there's a couple inside of there. I just want to quickly show you guys what I did do though. If that's a no, I'm gonna lose the block. Come back. What I did do is we put ice there now. Um, with the wood, it was not working at all. With having the ice here, they slide along. I do not want to slide across. Um, we got the ice, remember, in episode 10. And hopefully you guys enjoyed episode 10 and hopefully you're enjoying the download. Now, I'm going to leave it down to you guys. Do you think in the next 10 episodes, we should be allowed to go above ground again? Or do you think I should make it a little bit more challenging and do it like the next 20 episodes? So it would be episode 30 that we're allowed to do that. So that's, that's, we'll leave that doing its own thing. Uh, I cleaned out this hallway as well. Just making life a lot easier for myself to go back and forth. And I just made a little bit more of a stair system. So we've been very productive. Of course, we've now changed the trees successfully from jungle to oak. We don't need to harvest that today. In the coming episodes, my to-do list is to work on these. How that, however, we only have one, two, three, four, five. Why do we only have five? We are definitely missing villagers. We are 100% missing villagers. Well, I've got one book inside of here, which we are going to take. And I've got, I think it's inside of here. I've got a couple of books. I'm going to disenchant the sharpness one. We need to disenchant some things. I'm trying to think. Depth Strider, I'm going to disenchant and breaking and sharpness. We'll disenchant these. That way we can make ourselves a lectern. We're going to need ourselves another bed. Uh, the guy's... Hopefully, he's going to offer us like some really, really useful things. 
So, I don't have a grindstone here, do I? So we're gonna have to head back. Let's make sure we get the things that we need for a lectern. I'm pretty sure a lectern, you need slabs. Look how much rotten flesh we've got, guys. Look at this. Look at these. We need to sell them. We will sell them, but we don't have workstations in there. So maybe I should start working on a couple of workstations as well. Let's take, in fact, we're not using oak. We'll use these. It's a little bit cheaper. If we just, if we just go into, if we look for the lectern, in fact, if we just make some slabs real quick, there should be a lectern inside of here that we can make. So the lectern requires that. So we need to go and disenchant these. We need to go back over there anyway, but he also needs a bed. So do we have an extra bed? We have, we have the ability to make a bed. So let's take this and this. Turn that into wool. Make ourselves an extra bed. So that's okay. So we've got the bed. I've got this and this, which are going to be disenchanted. And I think that's all we need. Wait, how many, how many have I got? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's all we need. Let's go back. So I'm not too worried about these books. These are just things that we've had over the past couple episodes that we fished out. We now have a crafting table. So let's make our book and let's make ourselves this. Right, so we need to make sure this guy has a little bit of a safe haven. Um, I gotta be incredibly cautious because, as you guys can see, we have a lot of gravel still behind here. It's quite a pain, to be honest with you. It, it, it's not quite a pain, it's a massive pain to deal with this stuff. Because it doesn't stop. Now he's got a little bit more space to deal with. He really does want to get out, right? He really does want to get out. But unfortunately, my friend, <laughs> you're gonna be trapped down here. Uh, for a very, 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 very long time. So if we put you there. I think he was locked onto this. So if we break this and even these two, I don't know if he ch he will change his profession. I don't even know if that's possible on this version. See, he's kind of locked onto it, but he's still not giving us the option to. He's still not giving us the option of being able to trade with him. So. I'm a little bit confused with this. Let's not let him out though. Because he, he should now be locked onto that. Unless he was already locked onto one of these other workstations. So if we put this down here, along with this. There's no other bed down here. If we put that there real quick, or maybe even this. Yeah, he's not even locked onto them. I mean, he's trying to. I think that might be a bug, because don't forget, we started this in a 1.14 beta. So I generally think this could be a bug. So that kind of sucks, because we, we really could have done with that. Right, well that being said, let's... Let's take this back. Okay, because we have villagers... Back at home. That will gladly use this. Right, well, I guess for now, dude... Um, I guess we can just... Just so nothing spawns above him. Guess we can just do this for now. And I'm, I'm just going to put these back. So he seems to be locked onto them. It's kind of a little bit of a pain, to be honest with you. Do you have any oak? Do, do I not, did I not have anything? In See, he's really, really locked onto this. That's what he wants. He wants the grindstone. Maybe if I just leave the grindstone here for a little bit. He might... He, I don't mind if it's down there. He can't get out, right? Yeah, he can. That's not good. Move, dude. Move. You can have it, but it's just going to have to go here for you. There you go. Can we get it? No, nope. come on, can we, we can't even make that jump. See, I don't know why, I don't know why the, the door was, was like flashing for him. I'll leave that in there and see what happens. Uh, we could really do with getting somebody to activate this thing. So we'll put this with the villagers. And with that being said, guys, we're going to get a couple more workstations with the villagers. For now, so they can register as specific villagers. I'm hoping that's not broken. Because that will really, really suck. There is a couple of... Um, important items we're going to need for these villagers here. But we'll try this. Come on, one of you's surely got to lock onto this bad boy. Now, I know it's daytime, so I guess we can put one there. While well, it's night time, sorry, it's night time. See what? Oh, oh, okay. Got ourselves a nice little guy there. He's locked onto that. Right, so let's go through all the possibilities of what we could need down here. So, this right here is all the villagers and their trading. We are going to need ourselves a composter, which I think the recipe might have changed. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to need one of them because we can trade crops for emeralds. So that's definitely going to be something that we're going to use. We could also possibly do with maybe getting ourselves a blast furnace inside of here as well, because I think one of them's already locked onto a blast furnace. Blast furnace could be good for maybe 
the diamond stuff. We could do with a brewing stand because we can trade rotten flesh. So we need to make ourselves another brewing stand. And we're also going to grab ourselves a mason because we can trade a lot of the resources that we're going to use. So we need a grindstone. We need a composter. And we need a blaze stand for the time being. So they're, they're the things that we really need right now. So this guy is like really happy. He's really happy that he has a workstation. Now the book he offers, we can't see that until we fully trade with this guy. And let's just move this out the way there. Um, so let's go and make these. I think I've still got the ingredients. So we can make ourselves another one of these, right? We can make one of them. We are going to need uh, a little bit of cobble. I'm, I'm just worried that these guys... Might already be locked onto some of these workstations because that's how Minecraft works. The logic is not there. Uh, what about the composter though? So can we make one of these? We can. Ah, see, I told you the, the recipe is different on this. So we've got the composter. We've got the brewing stand. We'll start with these two first because the clerk, we're going to be able to sell this quite a lot. So I guess that could go there. And I guess one of them can go there. So these guys will start getting professions. At least I hope so. He's the clerk. So he's the guy that we can trade with. Um... He's changed his profession, and they are continuously changing. It's Chuck. What's Chuck keep locking onto? They keep changing their professions. I would like to make myself another. Wait, do we have any? Do we have any leather in here? I think we might have some leather. If we have some leather, guys, I might try and get myself an lectern. Yeah, we've got these. So that's going to be three books, isn't it? One, two, three. And what we did do in the last episode is we managed to get ourselves some sugar cane. Now, if we're smart enough, and we bone meal this, so we'll just go with. Uh, we'll just take all of these for now and we turn these into bone meal. We need to find a small section. So if we just do this real quick, let's just do it like here. One block. We need one piece of dirt. I think this will work. I, I'm not entirely sure actually. Because it's flowing water. Will it work? No. Yeah, it does work. Right. So we can turn these into bone meal. And we can just bone meal it for the time being. So this is going to give us a bit of paper. I don't know what I'm doing that for. <laughs> I was breaking it and placing it. I'm gonna get a little bit more than this. The more we have, the better. I think we've got, we might, do we have bones in here? We don't got bones in there, but we should have some bones down below. We, we got this. It saves, it saves me killing all my cows at this moment. That, come on, pick it up, pick it up, there we go. It saves me killing all my cows. In fact, I don't wanna kill my cows until we have like looting, maybe. So this is just an, an easier method for now. Obviously we're gaining two every single time. Let's just make sure we're standing in it though. We get to like a stack and then we can make some paper. I see this. I see the drown next to me. They're not really interested though. Their pathfinding's not great. All right, that'll do. So that, that's some extra. I guess we'll just leave that there for now. And actually, you know what I am going to do? I think we should replace every single one. Until we make ourselves a farm, I want to make myself a dedicate... Is that broke? I want to make myself a dedicated sugarcane farm. Let's put the sugarcane around the outside. I'm going to make an automatic farm. And I also want to work a little bit more on the chickens today as well. All right, let's uh, replace these. This way, we because this is our main base, we're going to be in this area quite a lot. It, it will grow. Which one did I put the... Uh, I can't wait to get enough cows and leather so we can start putting item frames on side the chests. All right, what have we got here? So we've got... Let's just grab all of these. So these will grow in their own time. But it's not, I'm not really in a rush for it. That's not going to grow, so I'll tell you what we'll do there is that's where we can put our torches. Torch. Torch. And I guess for the sake of this, we'll put a torch up there. We, end up, we still end up with a lot of fish. I'm telling you now, the fish are mutating in this version. They are getting bigger and bigger. That will grow, so that's going to help me as well. I'm never going to complain with the fish, but I'm telling you now, they get bigger and bigger. Every, dude, every time we come down here, every time they come down here, they get bigger and bigger. That goes inside of there. Let's make ourselves paper. There's three books. We can now make ourselves a bookshelf once we get ourselves a couple more of these. Let's make an extra lectern. Where are you? There you are. Lectern. We need to make you, and then we need to make one of you. Okay, so that's now done as well. All right, let's go and get this place down. Hopefully, so they've already changed their... So I think somebody else might eventually lock onto that. We also wanted one more blast furnace, didn't we? So he's changed his profession as well, you see. So how much paper have we got there? We've got quite a bit of this. We should be able to make ourselves a little bit more. Let's go with this. So how many have we got now? 
39. Just depends how expensive they're gonna be. How expensive are you? You are 24 and you are 24 as well. This guy offers bookshelves. So that is definitely something we could do with. 100% that's something we could do with. So we need to try and find the cheapest guy. So he wants rotten flesh, right? And he wants bread. So we give him wheat, he's gonna get bread. So this is where farms are also gonna be needed. Bookshelves are gonna be very, very helpful. We got seven emeralds. I, uh, by the way, guys, we also found a bunch more diamonds. I've got 11, but I'm not too worried about diamonds. I'm happy dealing with iron for the time being. We have not really needed to deal with having diamonds at this moment. I think at the start right now, it's getting everything up and running and working as much as possible. So I think we need to make ourselves one more blast furnace. I think, I'm not sure if we have any spare ones to be honest with you. So let's make, let's just go, we've already got that. So let's make ourselves ordinary furnace. Do we have any, because we need three of these and we need a little bit of iron. See, I'm starting to remember more and more recipes now. So let's go with, oh wait, we are running low on iron. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's five in total that we need. So we are gonna have to do some iron mining eventually. So if we make the blast furnace, we put it inside of here. So we've got lectern, brewing stand, composter. That goes there. So that means one, two, three, four villagers are registered. We really, really need to go and get ourselves a little bit more bread. That's where the bones also come into play. Um, so we can start to breed them even more. We need more villagers. We do. Villagers are going to be a big key to this series. Um, did I not place down anything there? Okay, well, we'll harvest this. And I might, I might need to bone meal a little bit more. Plus, we can sell these as well. I didn't mean to do that. Where did that go? I guess there. I guess there as well. What do we have inside of here? We could probably sell these. I don't know if he, I don't know if they take beetroots. I think one of them you can sell beetroots to him. Although I I I still want to make sure we plant down a bunch of these. So until we need the beetroots, I will stick with carrots, um, but mainly wheat. Because the potatoes are going to be the main thing that we need in this series. Sorry, potatoes. We do need potatoes actually. Because they, they they we can sell potatoes. But it's gonna be the wheat seeds. And I'm gonna to have to keep some of these seeds because I know we're gonna need them for the chickens. Because I'm gonna layer a chicken over a hopper so we can poop out his eggs and then we can go from there as well. So we will put, because I really hate having really uneven things, that can go there. Let's go make some of this into bread. I'm not interested in trading with them fully, just making sure we have a bunch more. I'm pretty sure we've lost some villagers though. We will make. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna keep one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna throw them. We need to make sure we breed these guys, you see. I need to somehow get, yeah, we need the eggs. We need as many eggs as we can get. So I need to somehow move the chicken. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I threw the egg at him, didn't I? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, that was a bad mistake, but we need to get the chicken out. I need to put him in his own little section. Well, let's go and give these to our beautiful villagers. Right, Mr. Villagers, right. So one, two, three, four, five. They should take them, take them, take them, take them, take them, take them, and take them. I don't know if you want the beards, but you can take them. We can lure the chicken using this one. Right, so let's get the chicken area ready. Um, we will put this inside of the wall. For now, I guess we can put the chicken here. So, that's going to be hopper and chest. Where is... We don't have a chest. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll make a chest. Uh, we need just a single chest for now. We need two chests. We need to make a hopper. Because then we can lay this into it. So there's that. Okay, okay. Let's get in there. So that goes there. Right, so if we do chest here... So we'll take this out for now as well. Hopper going into the chest. Let's make sure this works. It does perfectly. So we need to get the, the chicken into there. Now, that's going to go basically there. And obviously, I'm going to put a slab here as well. Can you still open chests with slabs on? That's a good question. We need to figure this out real quick. So if I put that there, can we still open the chest? We can't open the chest. But I know if we put this here, we can still do it right. Yeah, we can. Okay, okay. All right, so I need to somehow get the chicken inside of there. I'm probably best off going up to do this. 
And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll mine this area out a little bit. And the chicken will get dropped inside of there. All right, let's go and get this chicken out. I really... Need to be, we need to be quite sneaky here. We're going to get them out of here. Um, we're going to need to leave a gap. Mr. Chicken! Chicken, chicken, chicken! Come on, little friend. Okay, so we need to let him out. So we're going to do this. It's a chicken. Let's go, buddy. Me and you. Let's get out. Let's get out. There we go. Out, 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 out. Before anything else tries to come. You sneaky little baby. Come on, chicken. Let's go. Right, so he's going to poop his eggs. And then we can start to make an automatic system with this guy. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on. I know you like this. Here we go. Here we go, little fellow. And done. Good. So he's inside of there. He's going to now poop his eggs. We'll collect the eggs, and then we can make an automatic system. So that this is where it all begins in terms of automatic farms and stuff. I kind of like that there, to be honest with you. I don't know why. It just seems to... I don't know, just seems to fit in really perfectly. You probably noticed, and you're probably asking questions about this, bee's nest. Now, I'm not entirely sure how many bees we have inside of here, but we have a bee's nest because you can silk touch it. So, my farm area is going to go down here. When bees go, when bees go, oh, dude, that's going to be such a nightmare to deal with. When bees go across flowers and, and crops and stuff, they can, they can basically bone meal them in a way. So I need, to find a, I need to find a small section for my bees. I'm tempted to just knock this back a little bit more uh, and put the flowers there with these. So I think we'll do that. I think I'll take this back. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll take that back. So let's, let's get this done. So we're halfway through doing this. I just want to grab a bunch of stone if we can. Because I'm running low on stone resources. And I know this is going to be something I could use my silk touch for. Although I'm trying to refuse to use my silk touch as much as possible. But I know we can repair this. Because we're not going to have any problems when it comes to diamonds. What we do not need to be carrying is most likely things like this. So this is where we're at so far. This is going to be my bee sanctuary. For the time being. That's providing that we actually have any bees inside of here. We know there's at least one bee inside of there, which is good. But of course, as you know, you can't just get one bee in order to repopulate the whole bee thing. We need we need at least two bees. That's that's it. Just two bees to get this thing started, right? So we need to put you inside of here. Feels good to start getting myself a little bit more stone as well. Stone brick stone that's going to be needed. Um, these are good now as well because, of course, we can start to sell them when we get a mason. I just realized we need to make another stone cutter. We need to make another stone cutter, which I just, I did not make that, did I? So it's one, two, three, and a piece of iron, right? We did not make the stone cutter. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> let's get this, let's get this done. I knew I forgot one thing. We got babies too, so that's also very, very good. Good. Is he sleeping with bread out? I thought he had bread in his hand then. Hey there, little fellow. All right, so we got, we're going to have a mason now as well. At least we're starting to get some villages. Whew. Today is a very, very good day. Oh, yeah, while we're here, um, do we have any iron being smelted? We've got gold smelted. We have nothing. We have food, right? Gold, maybe? Iron? Gold? Iron? Nope. We're starting to run low, you see. Iron resources are running low. A much-needed mining episode is definitely going to be coming very, very, very soon. My inventory is still a mess, but don't worry about it. Let's get this thing mined out, and let's get some dirt down.
All right, guys, so it's a matter of just taking all of these out now. There is a cave underneath here, um, which, yeah, as you can see it right here. So I gotta be really, I gotta be really fast because I know these pesky little cows will end up escaping. And I've spent, we spent, what? <laughs> Waiting 10 episodes to get these guys? I'm not about to let them escape now. So we get this in, it's all a matter of saturation. Uh, is that broke already? It's, it, we've also got a bunch of flowers as well. The flowers are gonna be quite important because of course that's how the bees get it. Now it's all, it's all a matter of if we have more than one bee. If we have more than one bee, I'm a bee, very, very happy. If we don't have more than one bee, then it's gonna suck because I don't think there's gonna be any way for me to get more than one bee until we wait for the next episode to go above ground unless a bee wanders down here because there's a nest. So much things to remember with the bees. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Last thing we need to do is get a couple of torches down and then I'm gonna place down some flowers in preparation as well. Uh, I'm gonna raise this, we'll just do it to about here. We'll do it every two. And then, how have I done that? I guess we'll just go there. I mean, it's not it's not perfect, but it'll do. It's just a little bit of a bee sanctuary. Right, we need to get ourselves some flowers, which I think I kept. I mean, I'm pretty confident I kept. I think I kept them with, ah, we've got 22 of these. I mean, the yellow dandelions are fine. I think we used some of the red. Yeah, we used some of the red for the, uh, the colors, didn't we? So if we put these all around the outside for now, it's definitely enough the bees to get some nectar that can go over there uh we're gonna make ourselves a hive i gotta remember the rest oh i can't make a hive because we need we need honey to do that so plan of action right let's get this thing down moment of truth there is honey inside of there as well all right well we can be smart here we need to make a campfire we need sticks slabs and a little bit of coal we just take one of them and we'll put it back in a second. So if we make ourselves a campfire. So the campfire keeps them calm. Uh, campfire, campfire, campfire. Have I gone past the campfire? What are we missing? Oh, we need Oh, we need uh, actual logs for this. All right, we're gonna have to go knock down a tree. Just one tree will be okay. We will go with you. So we need a couple of logs. Uh, the reason why, guys, if, if I take that out, the bees will come out and sting me. If we have a campfire underneath, they won't sting me. They kind of like me. Basically, the smoke calms them down. Those guys are, are breathing like no tomorrow, so that's also good as well. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? All right, campfire is crafted. Let's get that thing done. Let's get that thing down. We're going to need ourselves some shears. Instead of me wasting too many resources, do we have any spare shears? We do have some spare shears. Okay, so the chicken's going to be pooping out eggs. This is now starting to grow. I do not know if there's a bee inside of there, though, but we're going to we're gonna quickly take you out. And we're going to put that there. And then we're going to go like this. And then we're going to shear it. Now at this moment, it doesn't look like there's any bees in there. Which I'm quite surprised because there was bees in there. It's a little bit sad, but at the same time, I can make a hive now, I believe. So my hope is that some bees somehow eventually manage to get down here. Although I'm not 100% sure about that yet. Because I don't know if there's any bees in there, but I'm pretty sure there was a bee inside of there. Man, I'm a little bit sad now. The campfire is just to smoke them out a little bit, but we made some honeycomb. We've got a hive and we've got a nest, so that's, I guess it's the beginning of this thing. All right, guys, we need to clear out my inventory anyway, because it's a mess, and I hate being messy. So believe it or not, guys, we have more gold than we do iron, so we do need to do a little bit of mining. But before we do that, we're also going to need more apples. So we've got, I mean, actually, no, we don't. We've got three apples there. And I've also just realized as well, guys, we have these in here as well. So that's 10. Uh, I'm just going to keep breeding these as much as possible. Come on. One, two, three, four. Let's breed all of you. There we go. And then I'm going to go and throw these at those guys. But I also noticed we have this as well. And this can be sold. So that's also going to be something we can sell to these. So we'll throw these over there. You guys can pick them up. You might breed a little bit more. He seems, he seems really happy to see me. A little bit too happy to see me. Where are you? You are... Gonna happily sell me them. That's good. Rotten flesh. We can get rid of all of it. You are a nice guy. Uh, you are the armorer. Which I don't really... We, we can buy... We can get emeralds for coal. That's not a bad thing. See, this guy, man. Chuck. Six of those. So, and you are... What book do you offer? Feather Falling. So that's also not bad. Okay, okay. So they're, they're okay at this moment. Um, 
Let's go and see how many bones do we have? Because I don't know. I've got a little bit of bone meal. If we can get as much paper as we can now and sell it, I guess we could do that. So I don't know if I left any down here. If not, we'll go to the skeleton farm and we'll see how many bones we actually have. We've got 11 there as well. We'll bone meal all the sugar cane until we make it automatic. Let's just turn all of them into that. That's 59. Um, I'm going to get mass quantities of, of paper now. How's this looking as well? There we go. Three eggs. So everything is starting to, to come together. I do want to knock down the whole entire tree area as well before the end of today because, again, we end up using so much wood resources that I forget. And then I have to knock down all the trees again. But even if I haven't, right, got any bones here, we can just kill a couple of skelly bones. How many have we got in here? We've got a couple. There you go. Dead. Take this. Right, so I guess you go inside of there. How many bones have we got? Oh, we're taking all of these back with me. And I guess you go there. And they go inside of there. And then we turn all of this into... This. There's no way I'm going to use all of that for paper, but I'm most certainly going to get a bunch now and max out both of those villages. All right, so I think this is going to be the last one I need to do. Uh, I used like, I think it was three or four stacks of bone meal. There is a couple inside of there. I think some of them have gone up as well, which don't worry about them. They're not, they're not a big deal. We've got this much. So let's turn all of this into paper. Every single bit of this into paper. And let's go and sell it. Um, so to my, my dudes. Oh, wait, we're going to have to sleep. Okay, lucky enough, there's one bed left. We're gonna end up with a bunch more villagers, so we're gonna have to get down a bunch more structures in order for these guys to breed. Uh, I didn't want to trade with you, but okay. Uh, you are, let's buy some emeralds. So you no longer let me. And then, same from you. Thank you very much. So he has uh, feather falling. Quite expensive, though. Has he replenished his trades? They take a while to replenish their trades on this. And I think for the sake of it, we will buy two of these. Um, we can also trade books for emeralds as well, not at this stage. We need to, wait, 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 who are you? You are, we could buy some of these. We don't really need that right now though, do we? You are clerkity clerk, we do not need you. And you are the mason guy. And who are you? You are the, yeah, so we need to max this guy out a, a bunch. Don't think we have any clay at this moment, so I'm probably gonna have to spend some of these. Because as soon as we can start selling this stone, then you know you're in a very, very, very good place. And he's still trying to lock on to something else back there. But two more bookcases. This is a start for me to get my enchantment area. That is something I highly want to work towards uh, 100%. We're going to also make myself two golden apples. Because I know we're going to use them at some point. Plus, what else, is, what else am I going to use my gold for in this series? I don't think there's anything else. But that being said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have and you can, be sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate you all. Uh, I'm starting to enjoy this a lot. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the download as well. So have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.